It's not snowing at least, but it is coat weather. Definitely coat weather today. Oh, I really like this caravan. I think it's a big improvement. Good on Ross, eh? Anyway, best lock it up. Don't want anyone stealing it. Then again, don't anyone's going to steal it. Right, steady day today. Honestly, not much going on on the farm at the moment. We are pretty much waiting, waiting along. We are waiting for the next few months to come. We're waiting for spring, really. Yeah, I did see these out in the field the other day. They had a big maize field here, didn't they? Bloody good to watch when that was going on. Feels like ages ago. But they were out ploughing. Looks like they've done a good job. Big field, big field to plough. Anyway, let's go head down to George before he starts shouting at me for being late. And I am a bit late. I mean, what is it? Just hit 8am. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. But he's all right with it. We're in a quiet period anyway. Good time to do some odd jobs, really. I just need to get what, a bale trailer so I can actually use mine if I need it. I'm worried that he's going to rely on it, so I'm going to ask him about that. I did send him a few links, but I don't know if he's ever going to figure out how to use a link. <laughs> well, I did send him a few. Some that I found online. Well, I'm, I'm pretty certain he's not even looked at them. Definitely. I doubt he knows I'll get them up on his phone, to be honest. <laughs> but I'm sure he'll have a job for us or two. He always has. I don't think he's ever said, oh, I'll take the day off. Maybe not, I might convince him to go to the pub. That could be a good thing. Let's go to the pub. Tell you what, it's quiet nowadays, isn't it, on the farm? Bloody hell. <laughs> Thinking about the <laughs> the fellowship of the farmers, how it's been disbanded. <laughs> oh, I'll never get over that. I'll never get... Hey, oh, he's left his door open. George? I'm in the kitchen. You left your door open? I bloody have. Bloody have. I thought it was bloody cold. Oh, I told you it's freezing in here. Well, I'm not, we're not getting into that again. I ain't putting no bloody heating on. Gas prices. Bloody gas heaters in here. It's shocking. Well, you can always buy yourself a decent boiler. Bloody decent boiler. We've got cattle. Why do we want that? <laughs> Are you kidding me? No, I on it. Anyway, have you shut the door? I have. Why did you leave it open? I don't know. I can't remember doing it. Bloody hell, George. That's the first sign of getting old. Huh, <laughs> cheeky bugger. Bloody hell, i got more spite in my bloody legs than you have. What do you mean by that? What, bloody hell, it says it on tin, doesn't it? I'm more about me than you, I'll tell you that. You, it's like you're older than me by the time you get up and get here. But George, listen, I'm doing all right. I got here reasonable time. Bloody reasonable time, it's bloody ten past eight. But it's ten of that bad. It's a slow day, there's not much going on. What well, bloody going on for me? Why, what are you doing? Well, bloody hell, I'll tell you, do you know what, actually, it'd be interesting for you, this will, you come sit down. Make that bloody brew, bring me one, and I'll, I'll talk you through what I'm doing. All right, then. Kind of worried. Oh, I don't be worried into that bad, actually. Then again, I've seen you read them right. Bloody hell, why? I'll be worried too. <laughs> right, what is it you're doing then, George? Right, have a look at this. What's this? All I can see is your face everywhere again. Are you going to move these bloody posts? Are you going to put them up anywhere? Well, I'll bloody put them up, right? I'm just bloody trying to evaluate the scene and, you know, it's a battlefield out there. you got to get it in the right positions. <laughs> right then. What is this? It's just a load of numbers. What's that? A picture of a cat? Have you drawn that cow? I have. It looks like one, doesn't it? Well, yeah, it's all right. I mean... Why are you drawing pictures of cows? It's bloody doodling. I'm bloody doodling on paper. I was trying to think, so I just drew a picture of a cow. Oh, my God. Right, anyway, come on. Talk me through it. Right, well, that there. Basically, I've been going through cows. I have to do paperwork every now and again. You know, they got old passports and everything. It's a bloody... Ma it's, a, it's a viver. It is. It's a big faff, but we have to do it. That's part of being a farmer. Right, then. So I'm looking through cows we got. 
Bloody hell, we don't really do much door, so when it gets going, I'm telling you, you're going to notice a difference and it's good for you this is to know. Alright, and talk me through it then, George. Right, well basically, if you look at that bit there, that's me looking through the herd. Right, separate off what they are age-wise and all that, what they do. Okay, so what's this bit here? Right, well basically, right, we've got eight Osteen, eight Brown Swiss. I don't know if you remember what we bought them, didn't we? Do you remember? Yeah, I remember that. Oh, I remember it. Right, well, they've, they're in calf, all of them. 16, so potentially we've got 16 calves coming and the two months off. Bloody hell. 16 calves, what, in April? What? What? Should be. Bloody hell, George. Wait a minute, so 16 of them cows out there aren't even milking? Bloody hell, there's more than that. That's what I'm trying to tell you. I never knew that. Well, that's because you don't bloody focus on that. You're too busy. I won't get out field and tractor. Bloody dry and driving around having fun. It's dinner all fun, mate. So I've worked some of it. Well, I'm happy to get more hands-on with the milkers, George. Well, you're bloody going to have to, aren't you? Because they ain't on me. Well, our farm now, this is. I remember that when you start taking in big money. Listen, right, I'll pay you big money. And at the moment, you come here at bloody 8 o'clock, make a brew and then just talk to me. It's not a bad job for some, is it? <laughs> I do more than that. Bloody hell, I ain't seen it. <laughs> right then. Anyway, let me just carry on. Bloody hell, while it's in my head. Right, so we got them 16, like I talked about. Third, they're, you know, coming close to milkers. They'll be milking soon. Two months' time, we'll have, we'll have 16 bloody calves and them 16 will add to the milkers. We've already got eight. They're all all So we've got eight milkers all starting already. We've got five effers at 13 months at all starting. They're doing nothing. They're too young. You know, they're too young for anything at the moment. They're not they're not in calf or anything like that. We've got five. So that's, what, 16 and five? You've got 21. 21 in that bloody herd that aren't milking. Only eight. Bloody hell, George. I know, I'm just trying to figure out. So you've got 13-month-old heifers, right? Five of them on a milking. They'll be the next ones going calf. Them 16 that are in calf come out of calf, start milking with the other milkers. Then you've got 16 more calves going in with the calves. We got, we've already got bloody eight calves at three months old, so they'll soon come out as effers. So I'm just trying to bloody plan it all out. The hell? Fair play to you then. See, so you're actually doing some work for once. Trying to use that brain, wiping off all the dust inside there. Bloody dust inside my head, you cheeky bugger. It ain't dust in my head, it's bloody dust in your head. How oh, bloody dare you? I'm sitting here doing work, and all you do is turn up whenever you want, do what you want, bloody faffing about every day, faff this, faff that, faffing every bloody breath you take. Bloody hell, fire. Bloody song in there somewhere, in there. <laughs> Listen, right, what are my jobs today? Right, jobs. First things first, before I forget, right? That bloody trailer. I know I need to get it. I've seen your messages. I don't know what they bloody mean. HTTPPS and slash and slash and all that bloody nonsense. I don't know what that is. They're called links, George. You click on them, it takes you somewhere. I don't need to go anywhere. I'm happy in my house. And I'm not messing about with stuff like that, right? I know who I'm going to call. I'm going to call Ross. I think he's got a bloody trailer for us. And I need to go see Jerry today. So you can bloody drop me off. See Ross. You can take me see Jerry. You can be my bloody driver for the day. <laughs> Alright then, if that's what you want. I also need go up pub. Now you're talking, George. I'm up for that. No, no, not for a bloody pint or anything. I won't go ask him if we can put that bloody them last two signs up. Oh, the fences? Up front? Ah, oh, I've got two of them left. I said to you, didn't I? Remember? Won't put them outside the pub, so we can go up there after. So we got. Oh, we can call it a day trip. Hey, it's a day out for Scroft, isn't it? Hey, I'll take you places. I might even buy you an ice cream at the end of it. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, George. <laughs> Cheers. I'm happy to do that. I'm happy. I'll let you figure it out then, eh? Ah, well, well, first things first, I want you to get out there. Have a look at everything. I think cows need a bit of mucking out. You can do a bloody feed with that feed mixer. I've already done a few. I know you have, but you can do another. Stock them up. We may as well. Get that bloody egg on. Bloody horrible stuff, that is. And I don't blame you, right? You bloody made that with Keith. Hey, it ain't my fault, George. We both knew we started that too late. I know that, but still, your bloody hands are on that. You outcreate that bloody monstrosity of feed, and now we're bloody feeding our cows with it. Bloody mixed in right. Don't put too much of that. Just put a bale in, no more. All right, then I can do that. I'll go do another mix. Don't worry, we'll get rid of it. It's better than nothing, George. Well, it's better than nothing. But, I'll be honest, I've been looking at it recently thinking, should have just bloody bought some hay. 
George, it would have cost you a fortune. You got that as a good deal. I know I did, but the cows are important and we're feeding them with that bloody monstrosity. Dinner good stuff, I didn't. It's bloody bad. Malta have pull off as waste. It's unreal. I'm telling you, dinner good. Well, it is what it is, George. I don't know what you want me to say. I either use it or I don't. I know that. Bloody use it. That's fine. Just, just saying. He definitely started that way too late and it got bloody rained on too much. He didn't put it in anywhere to dry and I get why, because bloody hell. Next thing, we'd have bloody Keith ringing us up telling him he's got a bloody fire. We don't want that. Anyway, stop bloody staring at me and go do some bloody work. <laughs> right then. Bloody hell, fire. I'll get it sorted. I'll muck out and I'll get a feed mix done and I'll come back in when I'm done. All right, we'll head off then. I'll give Ross a call anyway. Have you heard off him about that feed mixer? Oh, bloody hell. I'll, I'll tell you when you're back in. Go on. Stop faffing. <laughs> right then. Bloody hell. Tell you what, he's on one again. Seems a bit happier though, but he's always on one, isn't he? Right, let's have a look. I need to clean this as well. I've left a right mess there. I'll admit to that. But he broke the feed mixer. I stand by it. He broke the, broke the bloody feed mixer. <sighs> right, so let's go have a look at the cows. If they're a rate, see how much they need mucking up. It's bad, we'll get that done. And uh, yeah, we'll do a feed mix. I left the feed mixer in here, so might have a little bit left in. I'll have to check. Much better feed mixer. I'm telling you now, I'd much prefer keep this. I really would. Ah, oh, it's got a bit in. So we might just have enough there, you know. Might be, I don't know, could I, could I stick one of the May bales in? I mean, if I did that, I'd have to put another load of silage in, just to be safe. It's like George says, it is not good stuff at all. It really isn't. Right, let's have a look. Hey, they got quite a bit of feed as it is. I honestly can't believe how many of these cows are milking. You can see which ones the young ones are, like. This this one here, she's, an, she's a young one. She's an effer. And again, the brown Swiss are young stock. We've got four of them, he said. There are effers. All right, Bruce, chill out. Don't worry. Uh, I think that's all right looking at that over there. Yeah, it's in a too much, that isn't. I'm not going to muck out yet. It's too soon. They'll, they'll bloody build that up. Calves are sorted. I know George mentioned that, so. Right, let's just do another feed mix in. I'll add a bale in. Of uh, I tell you what, I'll add a bale of the silage around the back and I'll add a bale of the the hay and then that should hopefully do it enough, really. I hope he gets one of them sorted today, though. I hope he picks up one. Ross is good for stuff like that. He'll probably be battered, but... Uh, let's get on with it. Let's open that. We may as well turn her on now. Get it turning over. There we go. That'll be fine. Um, and let's yeah, let's just stick her here. Keep her ticking over. Yeah, it's not much, is it? I doubt it's an off actually. So yeah, I think he's definitely right. Get a get a few bales just to sort that out. We'll go with bales. I was going to use the some out of the bunker, but it's probably better not to do that. God, this needs a clean again. Every time we use it to muck out or take out the, the midden, then yeah, it gets bloody dirty quick enough. One of the most reliable things we've had on the farm, this is. George had this from day one. Day one. Yeah, there's not many things left from that first day I started working with him. But this is Ford that he never uses anyway. But this is like still the first thing, one of the first things going. Alright, one salvage bale will do this. I mean, it could stick two in really, but nah, should be enough. Go. I might 
might have scraped the top of that. <laughs> well, let's pick this last one up. I've taken the wrapping off it. job done just let that break up now and then yeah should be good to go go in and get George Corbloody uh, Ross before I head down there and go down there and find out he hasn't even got one what's she weighing at now Should be able to just fit this in, I think. Last time I did reverse it in, but it should be alright. Just putting it right to the end. There we go. Right, I'm going to Ross's then. Sh -sh 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 I'm bloody on the phone here. Well, you're not speaking yet, are you? Speaking to me. Oh, yeah, but you can answer any point. Am I going Ross's? Yeah, you're bloody going Ross's. Bloody, I've told you this four times. Bloody on fire. Oh, uh, uh, hello, Ross. You're all right? Well, yeah. all right. Um, right, well, hey, no, no, no. It's not about the feed mixer. Bloody on fire. Chill out, Ross. Uh, I'm looking for a bale trailer. Or anything like that. You got out? You have? Right. And what, what's it like? Bloody hell. You say the same thing to me every time, Ross. Is it a rate or not? Right, I'm coming up. Have a look at it. Me and Scroft are. Oh, we're about five minutes away. Well, bloody hell, you'll have to go get it then, won't you? Why is it bloody not in your yard? Right, well, we're still coming up. I've got things to do today, I have, Ross. So if you want me bloody buy something, then you're going to have to have it there for me to see, aren't you? Pretty bloody logical. Right, well, we'll like I said, we're five minutes away. Ready, then? We'll wait for you. Draw. What's going on? Bloody Ross, that's what's going on. He's got one, but he's... He not go fetch it, he says. Well, where then? Does he not keep everything at his yard? I think he's got like a secret stash somewhere of tools and equipment. Sounds like it, doesn't it? He said he was working on a tractor, so I imagine he's got another tractor. He hasn't even bloody looked at our thing yet. Bloody hell, can you believe it? How long's he had that fee mixing out? A couple of days. But exactly, and he hasn't even bloody looked at it. You know, I'm glad he's not charging us to use this one, don't you? Hey, you want to mention to him about this one, George? See, so, you know, what I said to you. Don't play interested, but ask him the question. Oh, I will do. I will do. Anyway, let's get down there. We'll wait it out and then we'll have a look, eh? Alright, then. Hey, bloody hell, Ross. I never knew you were working on a Ford, mate. You should have told me. Ah, it's alright, innit, this? Yeah, got it on the cheap, bloody got to do it up. Needs a lot of work, like. Bloody hell, look at smoke coming out of it. She's seen better days, this one has. It's nice though, isn't it, that? I really like that, George. Well, I didn't like mine, though, is it? It's tint on the same planet as mine. Maybe not. Hey, George, it's got perfect number plate for you. Well, what do you mean? Come have a look at this. Ah, bloody spot on there, Scroff. Ah, grumpy. Oh, <laughs> bloody hell, fire. Hey, you can have it if you want, George, when I'm done it up. I'll, I'll keep that bloody number plate on just for you. Hey, bloody cheeky buggers, I on a grumpy. I don't you thought I'm a wraith, I am. <laughs> I'm gonna get in, Ross. Alright, and don't mess it up anymore. Bloody hell, mess it up anymore. Have you seen it? 
it's nice in here, Joe. I'll tell you what, this is a good tractor, this is. It really is. Oh, it's alright. I like it, mate. I like it. Oh, fair play to you, Ross. I'm sure that'll look pretty nice when you're done. Well, have you interested? I honour bloody interested. No, 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 not for me, that ain't. Not for me. I've already got my Ford. I feel like I'm a trainer if I get this. But you never know. I've heard Scroft's in the money now. You might want it. I don't, I don't know about that. Depends, doesn't it? Well, I'll bloody let you know, eh? I'll test it out, see what it's like. Horsepower-wise, and you never know. You might want it. I don't know, mate. I doubt it. Well, i got to sort it out first, anyway. Anyway, bloody hell. I need to focus on this, so uh, let's have a look at this thing, and then bloody hell, I can get back to work, can't I? What are you distracting me? I've got loads to do today. Listen here, Ross, right? Don't want to be a cheeky bugger. I, I need something. Potentially, I'm coming by something from you. How can you bloody moan about her? Well, still, you bloody... You just always ring at the wrong time. If I was married, you'd be my bloody wife, because you married me just as much as she would. Oh, <laughs> bloody hell, Ross, no one's going to marry you. Not on that bloody thing. See what you live in? Oh, no offence, Croft. Bloody no offence. What are you trying to say? Well, I, I just, you know, just thought probably that that's a bit of an upgrade on what you're living in, isn't it? Bloody hell, I'm on your side now, Ross. I know, he's bloody cheeky, isn't he? Because he's out his way, bloody, every time, doesn't he? Hurt feelings. Bloody bully, he is. Bloody bully, I ain't a bully. It's called banter, chill out. Bloody hell, just saying. You're not going to be finding a wife living in that, Ross, with all this equipment on here. Hey, you never know. Might find myself a mechanic. <laughs> Bloody hell, if you find a mechanic wife, I'll buy that Ford. Oh, well, there you go. I remember that. Well, I bloody remember it. Anyway, she, here she is. This is what I've got. I've only got nothing else. It's the only thing. Bloody hell, Ross. Where'd you find this? A swamp? Is that where you keep everything? Oh, bloody hell not. No. It's all right, that is. Just needs clean. I see that bad paint works all right. Well, bloody hell, how much do you want for this? Well, that bloody Richard Weston trail, this is. With a fair few bob. Listen, right, just done a sugarcoat it. How much do you want for it? Oh, well, I don't know. I haven't thought about it, really. You've bloody thought about it. You think about it every day. Everything on here, you know how much you want. Don't, don't, don't kid me. Let me have a good look at it. Scroft, have a look round that side. How's it looking? Dirty. I bloody know that. Any holes in it? No, not as I can tell. Paintwork's worn. It's been used, George, quite a bit. Any rust underneath? Uh, no, not really, George. It's all right. Are you sure? Yeah, it seems fine for me. It's not too bad. It just needs a good clean. Maybe a lick of paint, but that's about it, really. Right, how much do you want for it, Ross? Good size this is. Could do with this. Well, with it being Richie West, you know, I'm, I'm going to ask for 12 grand. 12 grand? Are you bloody off your head? What have you been drinking today? I ought to pay him 12 grand for that. You've got no chance. No chance in hell. I tell you, I've said this before and I'll say it again. You've got more chance of winning Tour de France with piles. Yeah, buddy, Tour de France with piles. I ain't only going to be doing no bike riding any time soon, George, so that don't make no sense. I don't want to do no Tour de France, bloody, I ain't got time for it. You'd want to bloody ride a bike for that long. It's bloody irrelevant, it's the point I'm making, right? Bloody forget that, I'm not doing it. And also, I'd just like to add, I have not got bloody piles. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to leave you two to it. Oh, that's it, you bugger off. I'll talk to Ross about his piles. I had I got bloody piles. Will you shut up? Bloody hell, George. You can't let me saying that. <laughs> oh, I'll let George do the negotiation. <laughs> oh, God. I'll wait in here. <laughs> I own a bloody paying 12 grand for that. All right, then. Fair play. Fair play. Did you try and negotiate with him? I bloody didn't. I walked off at that point. I'm only doing that. I, if he wants me to sell it, he can ring me back with a better offer. But 12 grand for that, I own a paying that. No chance. Well, there's no rush. We'll find one. 
Oh, exactly. Did you speak to him about the the feed mixer? No, I didn't. Bloody hell, as soon as you started talking about bloody pals, I was out of there like you. <laughs> you started that. I bloody didn't. I, he took it too seriously. It's just a bloody saying. You're the only person that says it. Well, it's my saying then. Bloody hell, fire. I don't know. I didn't expect him to start talking to me about bloody having pals or not, did I? It's off his head. <laughs> I'm glad I got out of there quick. Anyway, what's the plan now? Well, obviously we're going to Jerry's because we're driving down here. And you're the one bloody driving. But after that, we're going to go pub. Yes. Well, we're not having a pint until we've done. We'll do the site, we'll ask the question. If they let us put it up, we'll have a few pints. Fair play, sounds like a plant. What are you doing down Jerry's anyway? Buddy sorting out this uh, appeal. We've got it all set up now. So, spoke to me solicitor and everything. Just need to come down here, finalise it, and well, we'll send appeal out properly. Good on you, George. Good on you. Right way to do it, I'm telling you. Bloody only way to do it, innit? Got no other option now. How long are you going to be? Won't want to be too long. 15, 20 minutes. All right, um. Fair play. What are you going to do? I'll keep myself busy. Don't worry about that. All right, then. Knock on. You're the one going in. Oh, no, but you're bloody standing there. Are you happy now? Well, bloody hell, ma. Cheeky bugger, you can do that. Bloody hell. Why are you always so against helping me? What are you supposed to be a team? <laughs> it's not that, you're cheeky. I ain't no cheeky, you're bloody cheeky. You can bloody knock on that door and you know it. Well, I've just done it for you. Hey, up, you alright? I'm alright, mate. Well, I'm alright. We're gonna sort this out then. Yeah, it's all the help. Let's get it done. Bloody hell. Feel like I've been stuck in a time loop. Trying to get everything sorted. And I can't do a thing. Not till I get this bloody planning permission, so ah. Uh, if we can get this sorted, I'm happy. What the hell are them, Batman? Chill out with your time loop. I'm sure that's your next movie. What the hell? Shut up, my God, for calling me Batman. Right, lazy eye, you chill out for a bit, right? We want to be long. Yeah, all right, and I'll keep myself busy. I'll be out, 15 minutes. All right, and I'll just have a look around your field, Jerry. Yeah, all right, Oi, when that grass is ready, off are still there. Hey, Jerry, you don't have work to steal my work, he works for me. Right? Can't be bothered to find another mediocre worker. That find your own. Ignore him, Jerry. I'll happily do a bit of work for a bit of extra cash. It was good for me last time. Bloody good for him, but not good for me. Anyway. Not a bad field, is it? It's big size. Grass is looking good. Oh, we'll be back out on this soon, I guess. See, look, he's got some good trailers here, he has. This is that one I used when we sold the bales. This one, though, I haven't seen this one before. I tell you what, Red Rock makes some good trailers, doesn't he? That's probably more than the one George has just turned down. But that's worth more. Definitely. Let's have a look at this tractor over here. I've always wanted to look at this, just see if it's something we can get fixed. I mean, if it's something simple, I'd offer fix that. I know what he means though, he got that shed built up, just this one here. Since then he hasn't really had a chance to do anything, has he? I get why he's stuck, let's have a look at this. I haven't got a clue, I'd have to ask him what's wrong with it. Nice tractor that these internationals are. British workhorses they were at one point, everyone had one. Now we can ask the question though, can't we? Just see what it's like. I'll tell you what, let's get in. I want to try to start it off for obvious reasons, but the key is in. It's not too bad inside, not too bad at all, really. Yeah. I mean, I'm happy with my case. I don't think I ever need to upgrade that for a while, but I did like that Ford that Ross was working on. <laughs> Grumpy. All them fields, he said as well. It says if we can get up here and have a look. He's got, what was it, he said about five or six or something like that, didn't he, Jerry, when we worked for him? He's got in that direction, multiple fields. 
I mean, I will go wait in the car in a minute, but I'll just have a quick look, see if I can see if anything's happening. See if he's done any field work at all. Because I could offer an hand, it's quiet for us. I think he owns that one. Not sure if he owns that, though. It's like they might have had a few animals on it at one point. Just notice this trailer out here. If he's got three trailers, he might be selling one. Might be worth asking. It's not a bad one, is it? Smaller, so it might be cheaper. Definitely cheaper than what Ross was asking. Looks like it's got a nice side to it for round bales as well. Needs a clean. Definitely needs a clean, but... Probably in better shape overall, is it, isn't it? Doesn't look like it's rusting too much. Yeah, bed's solid as well. I think I might ask him about that. See if I can do George a favour. I shut this gate anyway. Right, nice one, Jerry. I'll get this sorted out with my solicitor and we'll send it off and I'll keep you bloody updated, eh? Fingers crossed. Nice one, George. No problem. See you later. Hey, Jerry. What can I help you with? Mate, you've got a trailer, a bale trailer, round the back of here, just on the other side of this edge. Oh, uh, yeah. Are you, are you selling it? Oh, you don't want that. I only use that in years. Whoa, 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 way up, way up. What trail is this? Come have a look at this, George. It's, would you sell it? I mean, I would, but bloody hell, I only used it in years. Well, I've had a look at it. It's not in bad shape at all. We're crying out for a bale trailer. We'd just been looking at one, but it was 12 grand. It's way too much. Well, you can have a look at it, but see what you think. I just don't want to sell you something that ain't got much legs left. Let me go have a bloody look at this, Jerry, because to tell you what, you might be doing us a favour here. All right, then, let me know. How much would you want for it? Give us 500 quid, you can have it. Bloody hell, George, have a look at this for 500. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. All right, let me have a look first. Is it that good? For 500 quid, mate, that is insane. He, he, he obviously ain't using it. He ain't a bothered. I'd have that. I'm telling you now, even I'll buy that if you won't. Hold up, what are you? have got one. I know, but 500 quid, mate, you, you need to do that, I'm telling you. Right, yeah, let me have a look at it. Don't act so bloody keen, you told me that. I know, but look, I'm just saying, I didn't expect him to save 500 quid. Oh, well, bloody hell. Hey, that's not bad at all, it's a bit smaller, isn't it? We don't need nothing big, we've got mine if we need another one. Oh, that's true. Not rusted, is it? Have you had a look underneath? I've had a look underneath, George. Nothing. It's got a flat tyre, that's it. Oh, we can sort that out. What's the bed like? Fine, I've been up. Not not a problem at all. If I jet wash this off, George, it'll have a few scratches on, but that's it. I like the sides to it. I do. Make my life a lot easier loading round bales on there. Right, we'll have it then. Let's go tell him. Bloody hell, good spot, Scroft. Bloody hell, fine. Look at you saving me 11 and a half grand. <laughs> I didn't expect him to say 500 though, George. I feel like we're robbing him. I know. Well, 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 I'll make him a brew and I'll stop. Maybe I'll stop calling him Batman as much. <laughs> maybe you should do that anyway. Oh, I don't know. It makes me laugh too much. Like when I call you lazy eye. Right, Batman. Bloody hell, fire. Bloody Batman. I'll have that off you. Oh, are you sure? It's not, not bad, is it? You know what, what they'll do is that wood. It's not, not too bad. I mean, we haven't got one at the moment, so that, that's perfect. I'll take that off you. 500 quid? Ah, uh, 500 quid. i tell you what as well. Oh, here we go. No, it's not too much, me ask. Throw me in a few packs of sausages as well. I can do that for you. i tell you that now. I like you thinking, Batman. I'll, I'll get 500 quid over to you, and I'll send Scroft down pick it up with a few packs of George's very own bloody sausages. Sound like a deal? Oh, deal. Right, let's shake on it. Nice one, Jerry. Top man. Saved me a bloody hassle there, I'm telling you. Glad I came down now. See you in a bit. See you in a bit, Jerry. Ah, oh, it's Helia. Bloody hell, George. On to a winner there. 
Oh, bloody hell, that's not bad at all. I need 500 quid and a few packs of sausages. I think we've, we've... We've pretty much got a good deal there, haven't we? Can't complain. Yeah, definitely. Bloody hell, you called him Batman straight after you said you wouldn't. Well, that's bloody your fault you put it in my head. You mentioned not calling him. Well, I know, but, but then you said something and then... Oh, I don't know, it was in my head, so... Who said it? Bloody hell, George. He's a rate with it. If he didn't like it properly, he would have told me by now. Wait a minute. I'm sure I've heard him tell you stop calling him bloody Batman. Yeah, but he says it in jest, doesn't he? He's not bloody proper serious, you can tell. It's funny. Anyway, lazy eye, chill the bloody hell out. Let's go bloody pub, get this thing sorted out. And then we might be able to have a chance to have a pint. Sounds like a plan. Have you got it on you? Of course I bloody got it on me. How else are we going to put it up outside pub if we haven't got it on us? All right then, calm down. It's not been a bad day, has it, George? Well, not been a bad day at all. Not really done that much, but, you know, I'm sure next month it'll get more busy. We've got two months left. I'll tell you what, April will be bloody busy, Scroft. Think about it. Bloody hell, got calves galore. My bloody... Parish Council thing going on. It's going to be busy. Going to be busy. Well, I'm ready for it, George, and I'm sure well, I'm sure we'll do all right. Ah, we will. Anyway, come on, let's go have a few parts and get that bloody thing up with the others. All right, mate.